a joyful noise unto the Lord. Unto the Lord. All the nations come together All and rejoice. Serve the Lord with gladness. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing. Make a joyful noise. Come on, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Unto the Lord. All the nations come together and rejoice in Him. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence. Come before His presence with singing. Merciful God. You are a merciful God. You are That's exactly what you are. My you are my redeemer. I will praise you forever and ever. Forever. Merciful, God. merciful God. You are a merciful God. You are That's exactly what you are. You are my redeemer. Make a joyful noise. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All the nations come together and rejoice in you. Come on, let's give it to him. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence. He's a merciful God. He's a wonderful God. Come on, give him praise. Merciful God, you are a merciful God. That's exactly what you have. You are my redeemer. Hallelujah. Merciful God, you are a merciful God. That's exactly what you have. Hallelujah. Forever and ever. Come on, beloved, let's just praise him together. Give him worship. I will worship him. Come on, give him worship. Give him praise. I will worship. I will worship. Give him worship. I will worship. Give him worship. Give him praise. I will worship. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. I will worship. Oh, I will worship. I will worship. Come on, give him worship. Give him praise. He deserves your worship. He deserves your praise. Lord of all my God, I will worship. Come and give him worship. You are a merciful God. I'm going to worship him. And Lord of all, come and take me higher. I will worship him. Give him worship. I will worship. The King of Kings and Lord of Lords, our God, I will worship. Give Him worship. I will worship. The King of Kings and Lord of Lords, our God, I will worship. Give Him worship. I will worship. You are a merciful God. King of kings and Lord of lords, I will worship you. I will worship. I will worship the King of kings and Lord of lords, our God. 
Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? We will continue to worship him all of our life. We will continue to worship him. He's a faithful God. He's a merciful God. Come on, beloved. Just clap your hands for Jesus. Begin to clap your hands for Jesus and just thank him for what he has done. Thank you for what he has done. He's a merciful God. Glory, 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 honor, and adoration to Jehovah. Shall we pray? In Jesus' name, Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless you. We magnify you for this moment, for this series, Series 9, that we have gathered again on a Wednesday, 7 p.m. Every Wednesday we gather. You have kept us for another day. You have kept us till today. Last week we were giving thanks to you for what you have done believing that you will keep us till today father you have never disappointed us be thou exalted we give you glory we give you honor we give you adoration thank you jesus father accept our thanks in jesus name as we go into this series series nine father lord be with us guide us protect us the let us be the hearer of the word and the doer of the word father lord as we hear the word that come forth tonight father lord we pray lord that your word will be here and amen in our lives and we will continue to dwell in your world we will continue to flourish in your world so that we will have every reason to glorify you father lord the vessel that you're going to be using tonight we pray oh lord that you will strengthen him he will he will continue to propagate your gospel and as we listen father lord those words will we will we will hear those words and they will do great great and mighty things in our lives thank you jesus because you have given us the victory you you have given us the mantle to become victorious father we thank you abba father as many that are still here to tune in father lord we pray lord that you fast in their footsteps and we give you glory in jesus mighty name we pray amen 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 i'm so excited super excited for tonight because the devil raised his ugly head, like one of my pastors would say. <laughs> say the devil will raise his head. You know, for, men, for this not to happen. Because uh, there were so many things going on, going on, and God made him to prove himself worthy. He deserves all glory. He deserves all glory. Um, I just want to thank every, all the viewers all over the world that are watching us from Facebook, from YouTube Live. We, I want to thank you. If without you, being consistent on this channel, but uh, we, we are encouraged. We are encouraged. And for those that have given testimonies, we bless you. Because your, your, your testimony shall be permanent in Jesus' name. Your yeah. testimony shall be permanent in Jesus' name. Be thou exalted. We give you glory. Um, we just want to sing this song, and uh, we go into the uh, word. You deserve the glory and the honor. Worship as we praise your holy name. You deserve the glory, and they all know. Oh, give me praise and worship as we praise your holy name. For you are great. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? The Lord is good. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Thank you, Jesus. All the time. The Lord is good. Blessed be All his holy name. Um, thank you once again for joining us. For those that are joining us on Zoom as well, we, have, we love you. We appreciate you, Sister Kumu Ibuki, Sister Nikki from the United Kingdom, um, and um, see Sister uh me as well joining us god bless you and at this point in time um i just want to introduce the man of god that god is going to use to bless us tonight um you've, he has come on this platform before and god is going to use him again uh i gave him a short notice and <laughs> i mean you know there's some great men of god in our time that. They, they are so humble, you know, despite the short notice, he's still acting to the word of God. I mean, just like uh, our pastor, our father in the Lord that the Lord used uh, uh, um, uh, last week as well. You know, he created time out of his busy schedule. You know, God will bless all the men of God that has come on this platform to bless his people. Because they are the humility, that spirit of humility enough is enough. For someone to learn from is enough. I mean, what is in this world? I mean, God has called us to serve. We are serving before the Lord. And for, for beloved, I I personally have been blessed by these great men of God for their humility, for their consistency, for their love, and for the love for Christ. That's what the word. I, that's what I will say for the love for Christ because they carry Christ. They carry God. They they, 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 they they don't compromise with those things with the things of God. And they, they just they just humble themselves before the Lord. And I give the Lord, I give you glory, Lord, for this great man of God that you have given us at this perilous time. Blessed be his holy name. Beloved, I'm gonna introduce the uh, wonderful man that God is gonna to use tonight, Pastor Edwin. Um he's based in Ireland and um He's a pastor at the Redeemed Christian Church of God and is going to um, be uh, speaking to us um, tonight. And the God will lead him in the name of Jesus. Um, pastor Edwin, God bless you. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome, everyone. Good evening, sir. It's a pleasure. And uh, good evening to our viewers. And God bless you. Um, mm. My name is Edwin Adebayo. 
I'm from the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Ireland, Agape Family Center in Tramo. On behalf of the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, on behalf of my general overseer, our precious daddy, Pastor Yadibui, on behalf of meeting in Jesus' name. Shall we pray? Thou art worthy. Thou art worthy, O Lord, O Lord, o Lord to receive glory of and power for the is none like unto you. You are worthy to receive all honor, all power, all glory, all adoration, for you are a sovereign God. Why? Because you create all things for thy pleasure. We, your children, are gathered tonight to delight you, that you may come down in your glory, that it that we may encounter you, and make our life glorious and be a testimony, O God. And Lord God, we pray that you do this for us tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. That before the sun totally set off, God, let there be testimony and shout of joy in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, our Heavenly Father. Glory, honor be to your holy name. In Jesus' glorious name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Brethren, I give you greetings. I bring these lovely, lovely greetings. And I want to say thank you to Evangelist uh, Emmanuel Damiro um, for the price uh, you have paid to bring us together uh, in the gospel. You asked me tonight to talk about victory at last. The first encounter I had an opportunity with this uh, fellowship, we spoke about the healer. And we talked specifically with a mnemonics called SPEAK. Tonight, I will give a few things, a few hints, and I believe we'll all do a lot together tonight in the few minutes that I have. And I want to seize this opportunity to appreciate all the past uh, pastors, all the people that has preached, all the people that has come on this platform to share uh, their great insight of the word of God and I've been blessed by the grace of God in all the time I've enjoyed. For example, last week I had Daddy Tunde, Baba Tunde, he spoke about victory at last and I gained a lot from him. In fact, I got to pray afterwards to see a lot of testimonies he shared in the insight of the scriptures about how God used his servant to throw a wood in the pool to fetch an iron out. A lot of mysteries about how the Red Sea opened up and children of God went and their enemy perished. Same I want to tell you tonight. By the grace of God, before this day run out, everyone on this platform, everyone that are connected, everyone that hear your testimony, they will have a divine encounter in Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to pray a prayer quickly and say, Father, please open my mind 
Please open my heart. Please open my thoughts. And let me encounter you tonight in all areas of my life in the name of Jesus. I will give you one minute out of my time to pray that prayer. Pray it with all your heart. Say, Father, Almighty God, the one that never failed, the one that is and was in the beginning, the one that is still alive, please give me the heart, the grace to encounter you tonight in every areas of my life. Father, the Lord, be it spiritual, be it physical, be it in my emotions, be it in my ways of life, be it in knowledge, in every aspect, Lord, give me, O oh God, the grace to encounter you tonight. Now I will allow you to begin to thank him for giving you that opportunity to ask of him. Because the Bible reveals, thank you. he said, at any time you ask of God, you seek him, you knock then, and you will find, and he will open, and all answers will come. So tonight we ask, and we have gotten by faith with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for sealing it with your precious blood and backing it with your glory. So yes. you be all glory forever and evermore. In Amen. Glorious name we are praying. Amen. Amen. May I please ask that we open our Bible because um, the Bible records that he sent his word in the book of Psalm 107, verse 20, and he healed and he take away all from destructions. There is someone here tonight, like I said, all manners of ways of destructions of your destiny, you will find solution tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. I will quickly take our Bible reading from the book of John chapter 1. John chapter 1, we we'll read a few verses there, and 1 to 3. It said, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Then let's jump quickly to verse 12. But as many as received him, to them gave the power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. I come in the name of God Almighty, in whose name this word is written, that tonight more than ever before, you will encounter Christ anew afresh, and you will see the result instantly in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you believe that, I want you to shout a better amen. 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 Amen simply means so shall it be. Amen. What is victory, we may ask? A victory is an act of defeating an enemy or opponent in a battle, a game, or other competition. A lot of us we are fighting a battle that is not even known to us, that we don't even know the origin. The Bible says in the book of Psalms, it said, if the foundation be destroyed, what can a righteous man do? That's the question mark. But today we discover righteous man can still do a lot, provided righteous man that wants a victory, wants it, and he knows who can give the victory. Its victory is in only in the hands of God Almighty. Victory can only be gotten from God through a channel or a medium, That's and right. the only name is called Jesus Christ. That's right. Victory can only be obtained by the power of the Holy Ghost as long as you dwell in him, he dwells in you, you can use him as a medium to assess Christ, and Christ assess God. Assess God, yeah. That means you are sons of God. So that is why tonight I will begin to encourage those that has not given their life at all by the word of the scripture we have read, that only those that can assess victory tonight and such victory to be permanent. He said victory at life. That means you got the victory at last. Oh, okay. Another thing is to have a victory. Another thing is for victory to be permanent. 
But I decree tonight, as you are making up your mind to assess the victory and to have this true encounter, that it shall be permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Then you ask, what is my first victory? Another similar words we can use for victory is to win, is to have success, is to triumph, is to have a walk over a team, and perhaps is to trash situation. I decree in the name above all name tonight, in every area of your life, you need victory. In spiritual life, your economic life, your emotional life, even things you cannot even share. I decree tonight in the name above all name, the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that you will have that victory in the name of Jesus. Amen. And not only that, it shall be permanent, permanent. Yes. in the name of Jesus. Amen. So what is the first Amen. thing I think you have won, you have made a success, you have triumphed, he has conquered, you have walked over all the days of your life. What? Can I tell you? It's written in the book of Genesis 2, 7. The book of Genesis 2, 7. You know what is written there? Enemy does not want you to play a game to win. Hmm. They don't want you alive today. But you know what? I told you, Almighty God, from who in the beginning was the word, the word was with him and is the word, has given us victory in day one. That's right. The day he created us, Genesis 2, 7 said, he breathed the breath of life in us. Mm. For the fact that you are on this platform this evening, mm. for the fact that you will come triumph in your testimony, that even those that are around you that did not come on this platform will hear your testimony and they will truly know you have got a victory by the grace of God, that victory will become permanent in the name of Jesus. Amen. So the first victory is you have the breath of life, you are alive. Yes, sir. That is the first victory. That is the victory we can celebrate to no bound. That's it's right. an infinite victory. And I pray the devil will not cut the breath of life off us in the name of Jesus. Amen. What is the second victory I think you have tonight? The second victory you have tonight, I can take it from the book of John chapter 10, verse 10. He said, a particular man has come. He wants to do three things against you. He wants to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But the name in whom, in which we read in the book of John chapter 1 down, he said even his name can heal. No wonder in the book of Acts of Apostles chapter 3, the man that was put at the, at, at, at the beautiful gate, he was asking the, 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 the apostle, oh, give me ham. They said, no, silver or gold we do not have. But what we have, we give in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. I want to bless the name of God for the life of our general, our precious daddy, our esteemed, highly, you know, highly favored man of God on the planet Earth today. That he's been teaching us series about this lockdown, how we can leap up from the lockdown up to series of six to seven teachings, and it's been very powerful. So with the name alone, you can assess God. Do you know what Jesus answered them in the book of John 10, 10? He said, but out of the three things this man has come to do, I've come to give you just one, and that is your victory. I've come to give you life, and not just to give you a small measure, but to give you in abundance. That's right. I pray to the That's Lord right. God Almighty, God of Israel tonight that is written in the book of the scriptures, mm. that any area you want this life in abundance, mm. from today you will never be cut off from the conduit of life again in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters, can I tell you one big, good, beautiful news? You and I, we are going to work out our victory tonight. And how about we're going to work it? I will teach you a little bit. No wonder my daddy, you know, he's so precious to me because I listen to him. I listen to all my pastors. I listen to every good sermons everywhere I hear. And I have been praying to God to give me certain, you know, principles to wish to better my life. Now, why am I saying this? Some people can 
be said, okay, get victory. They will say it's not enough. I don't want victory because they don't know what they want victory for. Mm. But I tell you, you don't alone need victory for yourself. Mm. You need even victory for yourself and other people. Mm. I tell you my story. There was once, once upon a time I was struggling. I was meeting with life. I was doing all I can back home in Africa. And it got to a time I was tired. I said, but I have enough I can eat with my job and so on and so forth. And I hear the Lord spoke to my ears. He said, if a loan is for your tongue, I've created you. He said, no bother. He said, but I create you for all people. Can you hear what we sang in the book of Revelation 4, 11? He said, God himself that I am his son, create all things for his pleasure. Mm. Therefore, everything he gives me is for my pleasure and for others. Then why are we reading the Bible saying, God bless me so much that I'll be a blessing and I'll be a blessing to other people. That's right. Brethren, from tonight I pray. Every single one of us under this voice, you will be a blessing to nations and to yourself, not alone, but to generations even to come in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, let's look at it strategically. How can a man obtain a victory? I'll give you two, three character studies that the Spirit of the Lord laid in my heart for this as, uh, for this. Divine Encounter Series or Encounter Series 9. One, you must first give your life to Jesus. Even if we are going to talk about giving your life towards the end, maybe part of conclusion, but the Bible told us here, it said the only people that can assess victory first are the people that are called the sons of God. If you are not a son, a child of God, you cannot get the victory we are talking about. Then the next thing is, you are going to sort yourself tonight. Mm. We will read the Bible together. We will look at an application of the Bible together. And we'll see people that use the same strategy, like principles of God, and their life got better. That's and right. today, they are called the blessed of the Lord, like you and I. Mm. We shall be called the blessed of the Lord from today in the name of Jesus. Amen. What does the Bible say? Shall we go to the book of Psalm 90? The book of Psalm 90, very quickly, brethren. Book of Psalm 90. So I want us to do it together so that you can see that there is nothing called bamboozing in the things of God at all. So the moment you say you want it, he give it to you. The moment you say you want to assess it, he give it to you. Now, listen to what the Bible says, brethren. Lord. It says, the, days, the days of our years are three score years and ten. That means 20 times three. Yes, that's he right. He said, and if by reason of strength, they by four score years, that is four, that is 20 by four, that's is right. 80. Yes. He said, yet is their strength, labor, and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. Yes. Then, look at verse, let me jump to verse 12. I think I love 12, maybe because it's 12 calendar months, and I know somebody will obtain victory today that will begin to be a victory in this divine encounter, he will be celebrating it even every day and at every annual date of the 12th. That That's person 12. will be shouting a bigger hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Amen. Verse 12 says, so, so teach, teach us to yeah. number our days that yeah. we may apply our heart unto wisdom. wisdom. Praise the Lord. Where, 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 where are we coming from, brethren? Yeah. If by chance you are 80 years old. Hmm. I knew Moses started at 80. He began to go on. Hmm. Those days and these days, there are a little bit of change. I knew in the scriptures, Joshua, that Moses left the, the battle for, he said, Lord, look at my age. I am this score old, yet there are more to cover for you and I. That is why our daddy has been charging us, the scripture has been charging us, we must now become soul winner uncurable. Mm -hmm. I pray tonight for you and I, as I've always prayed for myself. I said, Father, you see, there are type of prayer I pray, three types of prayer. One, I pray from the scripture. I read the scripture, I pray from it. Mm -hmm. I look at what my father told me, he said, learn to pray for big, big things people will see and hear. They will know only Almighty God has done it for you. Yes. And thirdly, I learned to pray the prayer money cannot buy. 
What is the prayer money cannot buy in this case for me? I say, Father, every opportunity I see to win soul or touch, touch life, don't let me lose it again in my life. Amen. I pray tonight that you will never lose any encounter again in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will never lose opportunity again in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now, let's do the mathematics here so that we can see how the scripture is going to work for us. Because I discover a lot of us read the scripture, we just read it because we read it like a novel sometimes. We read it as if we are watching a program like a Nollywood, Hollywood, whatever wood. India have wood, Pakistan have wood, everybody have wood. Thank God for the brain a man got called X Factor. The moment he got an X Factor vision, we someone tonight is going to get a vision from the Lord. We someone tonight is going to prophesy unto his, his destiny and our destiny That's and things right. will start happening. Exactly. And that X Factor today is one vision, but mm. all over the world they are, they are claiming for it. Everybody is doing Nigeria has got talent, Africa has got talent, London has got talent, man has got talent. Edwin Adeba has got talent by the grace of God. Not only talent, I have the vision to win souls for God. I That's have right. the vision to begin to build a new altar for God. I have the vision to go to uttermost places where the gospel has not reached. And thank God for what has come out of Corona lockdown. We can now hear about ourselves. Viewers cannot come on platform. Now, you look at what we are saying. Three score and ten. Can I teach you what we can do with the application of that Bible? Look at your age today. Perhaps... Three score and ten means 70 years. Exactly. Look at 70 years, write it in the paper. I want you to go practically to your lifestyle. Write it on the paper. I say, Father, like the first prayer we pray, Almighty God, please help my mind, my thought, my feelings, my everything to encounter you from tonight. If you write your age, deduct your age from 70 year old, then look at your strengths. Look at your strength. What can you do again from now on? How can you assess the rest of the life and what can you do better? A lot of people want to encounter God, but they are not doing the things God wants you to do. Mm. That is why we are not encountering God. A lot of people see opportunity to touch soul like Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They never did. Mm. Oh, thank God for anointing. A lot of people have received so many anointing, they've wasted it, they have not used it right at all. A lot of people like a night like this, they've heard the word of God, they never apply it to their life. You know what the Lord said? Combine all these things. Mm. Act of Apostle chapter 10, verse 13, he said, How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good healing those that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. That God is with you and I. That's right. And that God, we can use it. Glory. And that God is the same that Jesus Christ of Nazareth called in the book of John 11 war for his friend. Even mm. when they told him his friend is dead, he says it's not unto death. Mm. And he only thanked God and mm. he called Lazarus forth. I decree to pray in the name the above Lord. all name in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth mm. that everything either told that you have been loved that are causing you weeping and sorrow, mm. I call them for today to become joy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because victory says battle that you defeat. You will defeat every such battle in the name of Jesus. Amen. Then now, what is the strategy I want you to apply? One. Apply the storage strategy I call KWU. KWU. What is K? Like I spoke to you last time, I told you about speak, isn't it? We yeah. form a mnemonic. K now will be what? Knowledge. Yeah. The book of Hosea 4 C says, My people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. knowledge. They don't have the knowledge. You read the Bible, you don't have the knowledge of what the Lord is saying there. You cannot take it to a rabbi or a teacher or a man verse in the scripture and say, let's share this thing together. That's why house fellowship centers, small, small unit group are very good. Because you can share deeper things together. You can dig, you know, dig the scripture deep to get prayer points, to get application, to do great network, and you go on. So if you don't want to perish, apply the knowledge of God. Can I give you an example of what I mean? I will give you an example from the scripture called Mark 10. The book of Mark 10, verse 46 to 52. 
verse 46 to 52. There's a beautiful story there. The man is called Blind Bartimaeus. Blind Bartimaeus had a knowledge that Jesus was going to pass through certain place. Mm. Blind Bartimaeus, the knowledge he had, he knew it, he applied it. Oh, you hear information. Today, a lot of us are hearing a lot of information on our job, through our uh, WhatsApp chat or social media, but how, how much are we doing about it? Nothing much. But blind Bartimaeus positioned himself with the knowledge. That is why the Bible says to us in Psalm 90, say, then teach us, O oh God, to apply wisdom. Yes. What is the wisdom blind Bartimaeus used there? Blind Bartimaeus used what wisdom I call the what, the how, and the when. You know what time Jesus was going to pass? He said, okay, how can I assess Jesus? He used what he has to assess Jesus. A lot of us have what it takes to get our encounter, but yet we are not using it right. A lot of us, God made provision for us, gave us money, gave us children, gave us house, gave us everything, cars, gave us good job, but yet when they make an altar call and when they make a supporting partnership and say, come and support the gospel, they say, oh, what has the Lord done for me? But I've told you that God has done a lot for you. The first thing he did for you is in Genesis 2, 7, he breathed the breath of life in you. You became a human being, and today you have the breath. Because if the breath is not in you, you cannot stand today. Then, blind Bartimaeus used the wisdom. He used his mouth. Eyes were blind, but mouth can still open. You know what he did? There was divine encounter there. He said, how can I apply this wisdom? Okay, I will apply the wisdom. He said, I will call Jesus to the root of his foundation. What did he do? He shouted on his voice, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy. I pray tonight, everyone including myself, the Jesus of Nazareth by his blood, by any means, anyhow we call him, his mercy from God will come upon us. And we will be having this divine encounter to give a testimony that we will share on this platform. The whole world will begin to turn to Christ in Jesus' name. Amen. Then, what is the you? The you is understanding. Go and meet in the scripture the wisest man that ever lived. That is the root of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The root of David. Do you know the first thing that our Father in the Lord has even taught us in the past? He said, why did Blind Bartimaeus called Jesus like that. He called Jesus because he knows that David is a worshiper. Anyone that wants divine encounter with wisdom learn to be a true worshiper. Hallelujah. Go and study the book of John chapter 4 very well. He said we do not know what we worship. He said we must learn to worship in spirit and in truth. In truth. He said this is what, what God delights in to give divine encounter. Glory, I glory. pray today our song will change in the position of our worship in the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Amen. Brothers and sisters, because of our time, I assure you, go and read the book of Proverbs chapter 1, 1 to 8. He said, my son, come, let me tell you something. Learn knowledge, learn wisdom, and above all, have understanding. You know why? Blind Bartimaeus know that when he called Jesus, despite all the disciples did to shut him up, he never shut up. He had an understanding that only if I can encounter this Jesus Christ of Nazareth, everything will change for me. Tonight I say to you, as we are encountering Jesus Christ of Nazareth on this platform called Encounter Series 9, everything to your root will begin to change. I Amen. decree and prophesy. Everything God is going to change for you tonight will not only be for your own gain. It will cover even generations that are slept in the Lord. It will cover generations to come in the name of Jesus. The Amen. only person that cannot get it is the person that is not born again. Yes. Can I tell you another story quickly? <laughs> Zacchaeus, he was a short man. He had information. That is knowledge. What wisdom did he use? He used the wisdom that, oh, how can I see this man in the crowd? Mm -hmm. He went to the top of the tree called Zacchaeus tree. Mm -hmm. He went to assess him. That is wisdom. Mm -hmm. Many of us have careers. Many of us have knowledge. Many of us does not even have knowledge. But what do they do? 
they cannot apply anything. You have an understanding that if only I encounter this Jesus, yes. my life will turn around. Yes. And Jesus found him on the tree. Because that perhaps will have been the highest tree above That's any right. man, and it was visible. Exactly. And he had that encounter. Can I tell you another thing that is baffling of man? They don't know which way he's going to come. But tonight I prophesy in the name that is above all name. The name that the apostles spoke in the past and we are still speaking now that is working, that every strategy you need to assess your divine encounter shall not elude you again in the name of Jesus. Amen. Women perhaps will have said, ah, Brother Edwin, you only talk about men testimony. What about Hannah? Hannah needed a baby. She knew I need a baby. She knew people have been abusing her so, even not an outsider, household people, but he never gave up. And uh, because she never gave up, her song changed. Amen. Your song will change from tonight in the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay? Now, can I tell you the secret? I will give you another secret with which you are going to apply your aid to wisdom, with the knowledge so that we will not be destroyed again, with the understanding that can be found in the book of Psalm chapter 1. Psalm chapter 1. From verse 1 to 3. You know what the Bible says? It says, from today, I want to tell you something. And that is David writing this, the man that the blind Bartimaeus, the blind man, called Jesus to his root. He said, be careful who you walk with from today. So you know what I will do? I will form the first one to be K-W-U. I will say this one will be W-S-S and C. W will stand, be careful from today if you want to encounter Jesus and you in the series, who you work with. Our pre pre premium says, show me your friend, I will know who you are. You, 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 you are. I will know the name they call you. Today, right. because of that Sam, because of our time, show, be careful who you stand with. Yeah. Be careful who you sit down with and be careful who give you the counsel. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 says, Unto us a son will be born, and his name shall be called, he named them, Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the mm -hmm. Everlasting Father, the Glory. Prince of Peace. Glory. I pray today that when you Glory. encounter this Almighty God that we are talking about tonight, the peace, according to Philippians 4, that surpasses human understanding, will begin to come into your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are looking for, a, for children, please go to this scripture. Apply it in your life. Hmm. Faith will help you. Yeah. Fasting and prayer, according to the book of Mark 9, 29, will help you. He said you cannot achieve all this thing without prayer and fasting. That's right. I, I will be privileged to come on this platform again. Then we'll talk about prayer and fasting and hmm. some ways with which it can help us. Brothers and sisters, I want to seize this opportunity to tell you that the only counselor is the almighty God that is contained in the Bible. That's right. I want to tell you, according to the book of Matthew 7, 7, if you ask you seek and you knock, you will find God. Oh, yes. And I pray tonight you will find God. Amen. And as I'm rounding up tonight, brothers and sisters, I wish I could tell you several testimonies. Another way you can do it is to sort your life, like I said. I once did it in my life. There were things that were strange in my life that were happening to me, and I need solution like a healing. Mm -hmm. I fasted to God for days. I waited unto him in Nigeria. I was going to vigil. I was writing my prayer point on the paper. Every time I go to the redeemed camp, I will raise my paper that I have on my prayer point. I will say, God, please encounter me. And suddenly God opened my eyes one day. And he said, go to your mother and ask her. I went to my mother. I said, mom, the Lord said I should come to tell you that so, 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 and so, so, what is happening? My mother brain said, who told you? <laughs> I said, the Lord told me. Ah, he said, it's true. He said, but we realize it from so, 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 and so time in so, 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 and so generation. Mm. I said, you know what? Because you have told me the truth, after all, you never told me, and the Lord sent me to you. I sorted myself. I had my encounter. You will have your, you will have your encounter from today in the name of Jesus. Amen. And God Almighty will sort you from today in the name of Jesus. Amen. As I'm beginning to round up, brothers and sisters, without Jesus Christ, you cannot have any encounter. Otherwise, that man will just have a decanter. I mean, you not have a decanter mm. in Jesus' name. Amen. A lot of us want something to be delivered to us. We want success. We want triumph. We want to win. And yet, we cannot follow the simple principles of God. He said, give. It shall be given unto you. Good measure. Press that. Shake it together. Running over. Amen. Give to your bosom. 
yet you are not giving. You are not even offering God good worship. You are not offering God good praise. You are not studying the word of God. You are not assessing the web of God. How do you want to get it? But tonight your story will change like my story ever changed in Jesus' name. Amen. If you want to give your life tonight because you want an encounter from God, I want you to please bow down your head anywhere where you are. I want you to talk to Jesus and say, Father, tonight I've had your word. And I want to encounter you in the areas of my barrenness, my spiritual barrenness, my physical barrenness, my emotional barrenness. I want to encounter you in the name of Jesus. I want to encounter you in the name of Jesus. I want to encounter you, my Father and my God. I don't want to be hiding from the government. I want my paper. I, I don't want to be a pauper to be begging people when I'm calling, they will run away. I want my spiritual strategy to encounter you. Jesus. The woman called the woman with the issue of blood encounter Jesus with the mesmerized name And Jesus said it will encounter you. Asking a question. Who touched me? Virtue came out of me. They say, how can we know? Because the woman only said in her heart, only if I could touch you. In the name of Jesus. I want to encounter you in the name of Jesus. I go tonight and say, Father, I give my life to you. I surrender everything to you. Father, I want to encounter you. And before this day run out, and before this week run out, I want to share a testimony that the whole world will know and to go viral for their healing. In the name of Jesus. May I pray with you that has given your life, if you have given your life. Uh, and I want you to say a good and resounding amen, amen in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus, our Father, our Lord, our God, we want to thank you for this opportunity. We want to thank you for your son that you laid his heart to bring this series on. I want to thank you to every single one that has given their life to you. God, please encounter them genuinely in their heart as they have given in the name of Jesus. Amen. Even backslider, my Father, my God, I pray, return them back to your love as, as in before in the name of Jesus. Amen. Even myself that has preached this gospel, oh God, for me and my household, Joshua said, we will serve the Lord. And Apostle Paul said, Lord, I will not be a castaway. I must not be a castaway in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we want to thank you, we want to bless your holy name. And for your son, strengthen him spiritually, physically, Amen. emotionally, financially, Amen. every Amen. resource in need. Daddy, to propagate your gospel, to reach further to the uttermost part of the world. Father, Amen. grant him in the name of Jesus. Amen. And for us all, every opportunity we have again, O oh Lord God, to speak of your goodness, don't let us lose it. Amen. Thank you because we are hearing this testimony later, and all glory we must return to you. So I've spoken with the name of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' glorious name, we have agreed together. Amen. 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 Shall we put to our hands you. together for Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for that opportunity. Those are powerful words from the man of God. Uh, shall we just close our eyes and in your mind, in your spirit, shall you, can you just... Um, begin to pray for the man of God that God has used tonight. This is the uh, Encounter Series 9, the uh, Victory at Last Part 2 of that topic. Ah, begin to pray concerning to, to, towards this man of God that God himself will strengthen him as he has been a vessel to bless us tonight. Ask that God bless, strengthen him tonight in the name of Jesus, that his ministry will continue to work stronger in the name of Jesus. Have a Father, we thank you for your son that you have used. We pray, O oh Lord, that his ministry will continue to work stronger in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will continue to teach him the, the, the mystery, the secret, O oh Lord. As he has been a vessel to bless us tonight, ask that God Father, Lord, I can hear myself. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That this ministry will continue to work stronger in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Father, we thank you for your son that you have chosen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, that this ministry will continue to work stronger in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Blessed Jesus. be your holy name. We Alleluia. give you all glory. We thank Alleluia. you for your son that you have used. Be thou exalted. 
Hallelujah. Um, because you will take all glory in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. Thank you, everyone. We'll be waiting to hear your testimony on this platform and anywhere in Jesus' name. Thank you, sir. Amen. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Uh, beloved, um, another day. We thank the Lord for what he has done for us today. We just want to thank the Lord for everything he has done. Because like I said, today was a very hot day that shouldn't. Uh, the Satan raised his ugly head. Uh, we, ah, it was so busy, busy today. But here we are. Thank God that we made it. Blessed be his holy name. And um, Wednesday, Wednesday is another time in the presence of the Lord. Next week, Wednesday, ensure that you, are, you join us again. Like I said, I, we appreciate you for joining us at all times. This has been a very, 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 very perilous time, and things are very tight. People are, I mean, I, mean, I just have, we appreciate you all for joining us. We give, you, we give God the glory. We give God the glory. If you have testimony or you want to send a message of prayer, uh, please uh, do so and uh, don't forget next week we will be meeting again and um, when we meet next week please prepare your mind prepare your heart because God is still saying something God is still saying something so you can send a message to us um, on this platform uh, FBME CSE Global Network and um, send a message to SE Global, MESE Global Network. Um, and if uh, you want to join us at 7 p.m. next week as well, uh, you subscribe, please subscribe. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Emmanuel Demiro. If they're on Facebook, Emmanuel Oladuni Demiro on their page, Solid Rock Evangelical Outreach. And as you do so, Please, God will uh, bless you in the name of Jesus. And if God lays it in your heart also to be a vessel to bless this ministry, uh, to bless the work of God, uh, please do so. Do so. Uh, this is uh, uh, the details. Uh, if the Lord lays it in your heart, uh, it's not compulsory because the work of God still continues. It continues. STR Concert 2020 is coming up on the 5th of September. It's going to be a visual, virtual concert with a lot of artists, but you can, you'll be watching it with streaming live on Facebook, uh, YouTube, and um, Zoom, uh, Instagram. We're going to have all the social media platform, but we're going to be streaming live because of the pandemic. Uh, because we can't still gather people together. And as you do so, just put that date in your, the flyers will be out any moment from now. Put that date in your calendar, 5th of September. It's a Saturday and it's going to be a glorious day. We bless the Lord for what he has done. We bless the Lord for what he has done. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we just, before we pray, shall we just take this song? It says, Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to him. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand here? Who can stand against the King? No one can, no one will, oh, 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 victory belongs to Jesus, victory belongs to him, oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to him. Shall we sing that one more time? Oh, 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 
Oh, oh, oh, victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Our pastor, can you give us a closing prayer, please? Let us pray. Our Father, our Lord, our God, the one in whom victory alone can be permanent, the one in whom alone we have assessed our victory at last by all you have given in strategy. God, we only ask you, let that victory be permanent and the glory belong back to you in Jesus' name. Father, we commit your son, Damiro Emmanuel, into your hands. Father, use him the more. Bless his family. Bless his children. Bless all that belongs to him. Father, give him more resources to reach out to the nations. Almighty God, I pray with this opportunity, Lord, everyone that has listened, Baba, Lord God, we ask you in the name of Jesus. Father, let them have a testimony. Let them have a divine encounter that will be permanent in Jesus' name. Father, bless the land. Let it yield a benefit and fruit for us all in Jesus' name. Amen. By the water, by the air, Father, bless everyone, O God. Amen. Father, let the breath of life remain permanent in us in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Any prayer we ought to pray, we cannot pray not to ask amiss. Lord Jesus, the scripture says to us, you are seated in the right hand of God interceding for us. Amen. Please, like you told God Almighty, Jesus, you told God Almighty with thanksgiving on behalf of your best friend Lazarus and victory came. Please tell God Almighty from tonight as we are all his children here apparent, Lord, that victory has come and we are glorifying heaven and we are glorifying his name yes. and it shall be permanent. Amen. So we ask with thanks in Jesus' glorious name we are praying. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Shall we share the grace in fellowship? Uh, before we share the grace, may I just ask every viewers and every one of your friends, the Redeemed Christian Church of God Convention 68th annual convention is coming up, and the theme is called Wonderful. Our Father in the Lord, Pastor E. Adeboye, shall be ministering with other anointed men of God. It should be visual as well. Please do everything to connect. Just type www.rccg.org. It's coming in the weeks of August, first few weeks in August. And I know you will have more victory, more encounter in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless Amen. you in Jesus' name. Amen. That's a free announcement, though. You are not Thank you, sir. We will pay for it. We ask you not... your list. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking to the viewers that you just got that free, free, free. So, you know, God so you have to you have to stay tuned. Stay tuned. Because God is going to use that man of God. He's been a blessing to every one of us. And we appreciate, uh, we appreciate him. God bless you, sir. And we can share the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. And the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now. with us now forever. Amen. And surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us. All, all the days, days of our lives, life, and we, we shall dwell, dwell in the house, house of the Lord, the Lord forever, forever and, and ever. ever. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Shalom. Hallelujah. Shalom. May God bless you. Shalom. Rejoice and go in peace.